what's up everybody hopefully everybody doing well doing okay so today's video we're gonna be doing another install video in this car right here it's a 10 gen civic sr we're gonna be installing oil cooler why you will need the oil cooler you will need the oil cooler if you you know you beat up your car you drive your car hard you do some canyon roads in the weekends you know in a hot day summer uh, summertime is coming up or you just live in hot area like, or state or city whatever like here in California, things get very hot, over 100 in the summertime. Plus, I do drive my car hard. Plus, now I have bigger turbo. It makes things a lot more hotter. So, I don't want to blow my engine. So, the best thing to do and the solution to keep things a little bit cool, uh, in the right temperature. So, we need the oil cooler. So, the oil, co uh, the oil cooler is going to help that oil to stay in a low temperature or like steady temperature it won't get too hot because if oil get too hot it makes things more softer inside the engine that's why your rods can pop up easily and too many things it can be going wrong when the oil uh, gets too hot so oil cooler it will help a lot to keep that temperature a little bit down plus you know we have a uh, bigger table in there from 27.1 it makes things a lot a lot hotter all the boost makes my lot of bolts um <laughs> loose and everything so definitely uh, oil cooler it will help this baby radiator here too i'm gonna be replacing radiator in the future too this is all supporting mod you're not gonna be making any horsepower uh, from me or anything but you will be last longer uh, on the track if you do track days and you will you know you will just drive your car a little bit more harder or the same way you drive it but things is gonna stay cool and nice so how you guys can see i already removed the bumper uh i showed you guys in previous videos how you uh, how you remove the bumper if you want to know how to remove the bumper just go back one of my previous videos like when i install my headlights or my grill or something like that you will see how to remove the bumper so I already did remove the bumper so now we're gonna be installing installing the oil cooler so let's open this box box and you guys can see we got the Seto Moto oil cooler big shout out to them so we got this is the the oil lines very thick nice and clean right and we got the bracket I already opened the box uh, just I want to always I want to make sure when when I receive my packages I open my packages I want to check like all my hardwares are in there everything in there so before the install I have everything ready to go I don't want to be like unboxing the same day of the install then I'm like oh I'm missing this I'm missing this you know or something wrong so that's why I do open my packages uh, this is the the cooler core uh, this is the hardware in here and yeah let's put this at the side here uh, and we got the oil adapter the oil filter adapter and i don't know what like gasket or something in here we'll find out so let me open this box here too as well let me get my knife so let's open this guy out too by the way guys all the packaging they were really good like everything nice and clean everything is smooth you guys look <laughs> there's they wrap it like a burrito in here look at it nice nice super this is the core oil cool nice so this thing basically it will be going right here uh i think it will be going like somewhere like that i think the i believe this one they will be in the bottom probably but we'll see we'll find out yeah 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 it's gonna stay just like this right all right guys let's uh let's get this 
let's get this install started. So guys, first thing first, how I said, you remove your bumper, right? Then first thing you do, you go under the car and you remove your uh, oil filter. How you guys can see, I already did remove my oil filter. Make sure to put something under it because it's gonna have some oil. So you're gonna remove your oil filter. Then after you remove your oil filter, we're gonna be coming back here. We're gonna be doing some drilling and everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the process, how you guys, um, so you guys can install it by yourself. All right, guys, so we're gonna use this adapter. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little oil. Um, I'm using this, I have some of this uh, oil of the engine oil. I'm just gonna put a little bit on. Yeah, just like that. So that will help to seal this thread nicely. Oh no. And just like that. Yep. And this thing the same thing. Whoo! Too much. Way too much. Yep. It's fine though. All right, and huh. yeah, don't don't force these treads in here. Um, if you force them you might strip them easily because it's aluminum and if you guys not familiar with the aluminum aluminum strips super easily I don't know if this is uh... so yeah and the Sedamoto did really good job on to be honest give you the hardware everything you need so we can just snag this bad boy uh -huh. So to give you the right tool for it, so you won't strip them or anything. Bam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like that. Wipe it off. This is the oil adapter. So we're going to plug this thing in here. And they give you three plugs right here. So you... Uh, put these bad boys in there all right yeah you see them this is the tread plug plugs you put them here so you close this plug and you mount it in then we're gonna be mounting this one into it okay we'll, we'll get to that in a bit here all right guys so now we're gonna, we're gonna do we're gonna put these plugs back in here so you will need some uh, tofen tape so you can uh, sell them properly. We need some different tape so we can uh, you can seal nicely. All right, let's put this guy out here. Uh, all right, guys. So we already put this adapter in here, right? And we put the plugs with some different tape. My two front tip doesn't look the best, but I think it will be fine. So this piece is ready to go. And this piece uh, is oil filter intake off. So I was looking for instructions. I don't see instructions. I opened the box at home. I'm not sure um, if it comes with the instruction though. I'm not sure. Yeah. But yeah. So. So make sure you have this gasket in there and this thing, I think it goes like this. Yep. This is the way how it goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is the way how you put it on. So we're going to plug it instead putting the oil filter. You're gonna plug this thing in there, right? 
but before that they recommend to use some oil again for the gasket so you can have the proper seal all right let's uh, put some oil here this time so I'll make a big mess again god damn it all right i think this is just fine so put some oil in here all around the gasket all around the gasket all around the gasket oh and a little bit on the tread too so a little bit on the tread as well so guys you know after you put your oil this thing goes under here and make sure you have the washer right and we're gonna go and plug this thing in so basically this is like an oil adapter kind of thing yeah so we just mount it in here oh got these things yeah we're not gonna uh tie it all the way because we still have to make some adjustment probably we'll just leave it like this for now just like that guys so clean this thing up a little bit and then and then we're gonna install this bad boy in here but before we uh, before we install this one we need to put the brackets in here from here so guys our, so I figured it out so um so this bracket right here, you how you guys can see this thing mounted to the AC. This is uh, the out drain for the oil. So you put this L, uh, L elbow in here with the out, out, and this one in. And we have still another one right here for in and the filter, it will be sitting right here. So, uh, what we're gonna be doing now uh, I'm gonna I'm give you guys better vision of that in a little bit. We're gonna put this bracket right here So it's gonna go Like this So if you guys can see there is a hole right here and there is another hole right here And you guys can see that right here and there So they give you like this washers or whatever they came like in three pieces, so you put this top piece like right here, right? You slide it somewhere like that, and you put the screw in the bottom so the bracket you can sit like this, you know. Alright, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how you do that. So you guys you can see come here, bring them down here. We already installed our bracket, so and you use these uh, little washers or whatever. You put them in this hole right here. You slide the washer first. Then you put the, the island key in there. Then, you know, then you put your, then you install your your oil cooler. I don't know why this thing, it doesn't come with the Sirimoto logo on it, which is kind of, I like the Sirimoto logo in the middle, but this thing doesn't look like it's coming with one. I don't know why I'm going to ask him. Uh, anyways, I'm just doing some uh, test fitting right now. So what we're gonna be doing? Putting uh, so this this is we have two two lines. You have long line and short line. So of course you don't want to be mounting to the short one uh, to the short one here because it will run all the way just too small, you know. So what we're gonna be doing actually? We're gonna be running this one first. Let's see.
what's up guys it's the second day today we're gonna be drilling a holes for this bracket so we can mount um, the oil cooler right here so you gotta take a measurements first so you're gonna mount it like that make sure the holes are lining up nicely then you're gonna mark your hole then this bracket is gonna go right here and yeah and again you're gonna mark a hole and that's it after that we'll we're gonna do i'm gonna try to drill this tank right here uh -huh. here and another one right here so um so everything looks like it's mounted right i believe so you guys can see this is the bracket you drill the hole so you uh you put your hardware in here with this bracket uh but the and i i support it with some zip ties too as well because you know when you drive the cars aggressively things get loose i don't want this thing to go anywhere it feels solid in here so make sure guys put the long hose and the, and the farthest one and the short ho uh, hose uh and the closer one right here and i right, give, give me that uh and and you guys can see right here. Let me add some more light for you guys. All right. So you see the filter now where it's mounting, literally under the AC. You see uh, under this uh, uh, this bar right here, supporting bar or whatever you want to call it. So and and yeah, this is the the long hose that the long hose goes straight in here. You see in the in the metal one for in. So this is in, this is out. For the filter, it's out, you know? So yeah, this is it, how you guys put it. You guys see, we, uh, we slide them in there, in that hole right there. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be adding some oil. This is some left, uh, some leftover from last time when I changed my oil. I'm using uh, W5. 30 or whatever, 20, I don't, I don't remember, but something like that. Uh -huh. So we're gonna be adding oil now. And to, I know because I lost some oil from the uh, filter and everything. Probably I need more oil, but I don't have any more. So probably I'm, I will stop by the store, get some more. Yeah, guys, just like that. Then, then we're gonna, uh, start the card up and we'll check any leaks we have on anything then if we don't have any leaks on anything we should be good to go but for sure I think I'm gonna need some oil but we'll start the card up and we'll check our level then we'll go from there all right you guys already find the problem where the leak was coming from and everything uh, you guys can see I lost a lot of oil so basically what I did wrong in here let me add some uh, light for you guys was actually my mistake because I don't know what I was thinking. I put this washer, this aluminum washer. I don't know if you guys can tell. There is a little washer right there between this thing and this. It's like an oil filter washer. The same thing. So you have to put it outside. Then you put it, you know, the way how you, uh, the way how I did it right now. So before I did it, uh, I put it inside, uh, inside this thing. That's why it was not catching anything. It was just pouring oil straight down. And I was like, what the heck did I do wrong? But I was thinking, then I was like, oh, maybe the washer. So I put the washer outside. This is how it's supposed to. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Anyways, I did the damage my my tread, whatever. I mean, these things a little bit. But now no leaks, no anything. Everything. Oh. Seems fine. I did. You want to fight it out for me? 
So should be now no leaks. So let's uh, let's find out. So I haven't studied up or anything. So I'm very confident now it should be good to go. All right, here we go, guys. All right, I did fight it up. Oh my god. This guy, he does not know how to find this guy. See guys, no leak, no anything right now. Solid. You see? Yeah. All good. See guys? All good. Check right here. Oh, let me turn this light down. You see guys right here, no leaks, no leaks. So I think we're good. So I'm just gonna wait for the car. Oh, can you turn it off? So I already add some oil in here. So let me close this thing. I forgot to close it. All right. All right, fight it up again. Yeah. We're all dead, no leaks, no anything. So I'm just gonna let the car warm up. Then then we'll take up a lot of spin and see see how this thing feel. Alright, we're gonna do a little quick pull here. Third pull. We we are my sorry my Wilchester duty. Uh, we we're still running just uh, 91. I haven't run 85 at all. So part is good. guys another pull third gear this car ribs baby all right guys so you guys can see this is the oil cooler I wish they have uh, the logo on it, but already talked to them and email and everything. They were very fast respond. Thank you. A big shout out to Sitamoto for uh, a good customer service. So the, uh, this says, uh, yeah, they stopped doing the logo on the oil, uh, oil, the oil core just because of some reason. I forgot, but anyways, yeah, they don't have that no more, but that looks just fine to me. I'm not tripping about it. But it does look good in the front grill in there. So, yeah. Alright, guys. This is the end of the video. I will see you to the next one. Alright, guys. So, this is the end of the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to give me that subscribe, a like, and comment. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to be able to uh, post much as I can just because of my work. Uh, get me super busy. I don't have much time. To work on my car, uh, to mo to work on my car, and you know, make videos because I have to make a video, you know, film and everything, and I have to add uh, edit the video and everything. But I'll try my best, you know, uh, post between like a week or two weeks, you know, a video like between a week or two weeks. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to keep this thing going, so I'm not trying to quit this YouTube or anything. So if uh, I'm if I'm not posting every week just because I'm busy or something, just stay tuned. I have a lot of more mods coming to this car, to this channel. Uh, probably I'm going to be getting another car here, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll get another things. So, uh, and thank you guys for all new subscribers. Uh, and if you guys want to enter to the giveaway I'm going to do. I already passed 30 days that I told you guys. Uh, if I reach 30, uh, 
uh, if I reach fi uh, 500 subscribers in 30 days, I'm gonna be giving the rear mount. But I will still give the rear mount. But I will do I will do it when I reach uh, 1,000 subscribers. So whenever I will reach 1,000 subscribers, I will do giveaway the the engine rear mount still brand new on the box. Uh, I bought it uh, over $200. You can check uh, the weight line rear mount how much cost. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, a like, and comment on my videos. So whenever I reach uh, a thousand subscribers, I'ma uh, choose one of those subscribers. Damn, this thing rips, baby. 